Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, today's gonna be a very quick video about patch notes. Uh, I'll, probably, I'll probably put some background noises or whatever in the background while I am uh, while we're doing this patch notes run through real quick. But there's a new patch and there's a, a lot of good stuff in this patch. A lot of quality of life stuff, nurse changes, overhauls. I just saw this on my feed just then when I was open. I was opening Steam and I really wanted to check this out and make a video of this. And I, I just quickly glanced through the... Um, so I think we'll, we'll start watching the trailer first of all, right? Every, like every Welcome time, to other time. Steal the spotlight event, live from Las Vegas during an unexpected blackout. Solo bank it rules are in play. Tripwires and turrets are online and ready to engage any intruder trying to make a deposit. During the I like that costume. You compete with pre-made loadouts and play to unlock exclusive rewards. It's your chance to shine in front of our sponsors and super fans, all on your own. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Right. So now we go to we come to the big changes. First of all, balance changes. They have now made it so Dome Shield will now use squad colors if the squad color setting is enabled, which means that no longer will you be seeing green or blue stuff, uh, orbs. Now you will be able to see yellow, purple, pink, red, uh, and so on and so forth. Blue for your own color, which is just really good. It's a lot of good quality of life. Next up, Vanishing Bomb is getting an in invisibility interrupt grace period from uh, 0.65 to 0.8 and an increase in interrupt from 0 to 0 0.35 which is a buff again and then they also increase the duration of the invisibility on teammates from 5 to 6. Then they made zip lines easier to deploy. Very nice, very nice. There's a lot of good changes for um for Las Vegas as well. I've been wanting this for a long ass time because Las Vegas I think is one of the worst maps in the entire game. Uh, but now they've added a lot of good stuff. They've added lots more covers. They have, they changed up j uh, zip lines with jump pads. They added they removed turrets and trip wires in uh, quick cash and bank it. <clears throat> and they also changed up the different casinos, the Argon Casino, the Eastwood Casino, the Glamora Casino, which are the big buildings in Las Vegas. The, you, you, you'll be running through these a lot. I'll, I'll put them here in the, on the screen so you guys can read. You can also pause the video as well. And then after that, uh, specializations, the mesh shield will now use the squad color if the squad color setting is enabled. And finally, this is the thing everyone has been waiting for. Recon Sense is getting a complete overhaul. It's getting nerfed very hard. They added a recon sense limit to 30 meters and enemies outside of this range will not be detected. And whenever you are detected, you will now see a detected warning screen on your HUD. This will give so much more outplay potential towards people who are using recon site. Now that you actually know how to, now that you actually know that people are using recon site, you will now be able to act accordingly. You will now be able to fight better. <clears throat> this was one of the changes I really wanted them to do as well. I don't really care that you can have, you know, complete wall hacks, right? As long as you are fully aware of their of that they exist and they're there. And now that they have a 30 meter limit and you know now know that you can be you are detected, similarly to something like Lion from Siege Works, it now is so much better. It, it's so much better now. <clears throat> then on top of that, there's a lot of um, content and animation bug fixes. There's audio bug fixes. There is um, rank fixes. There's gyro aiming, emos, gadgets, defibs. There's a defib patch note. There's a defib change here where player statues will not be targeted. Uh, well, will be able to be targeted for revive when lying in foliage or being carried. This was a thing you could not do. When people were put inside foliage, it was over. You could not revive them. You had to do you had to do the long revive animation. They also added more various placement distances. They fixed the turret bugs where they collide with each other. They added a new event mode and they removed solo banquet experimental. I really hope they add Solo Banquet back, honestly. It's a, it's such a fun map. It's such a fun thing. They also changed some stuff for Monaco, making it easier to be able to be seen in uh, on OLED screens. And they tweaked some settings to make Monaco's trees 
uh, reduce popping in low settings. They also changed a lot of, they also added some very good movement where people could become stuck in roach spaces. Hopefully you don't get stuck anymore in uh, random spots like I do a lot. And uh, some more stuff with wall jumping and vaulting, slide cancelling with aiming with toggle crouch. They added a better improve improvement to security and anti-cheat. And they also increased the default FOV from 71 to 81. On top of that, they added more VFX, they added more stuff, they added weapons. Size of the grenade projectiles have become bigger. Very good, very good change, I think, there. Because grenades in this game are very hard to see sometimes, especially in a very well-cluttered map. There is just way too much stuff going around. It's insane. But yeah, it's, this was a quick video. Um, this will be up probably like a minute after I upload, uh, after I record this. I am currently working on a bigger video for those who are watching me for, you know, my, my actual videos. I, I just generally do patch note stuff when they're big and stuff that people, you know, want to see. Uh, so that so that you guys don't need to, you know, read through the patch notes. I can just run, run it through with you guys quickly. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.